And, and uh, eat healthy. A banana. Eat a banana. Yeah. At, that, at least that's what my parents always told me before a test. Eat a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> It's just, just forgetting about it and shoving it under the rug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's and not ten real. years later, you end up with a psychologist <laughs> <laughs> because oh of all yeah. these repressed feelings. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, When We Were Younger. My name is Isis, and next to me is Luke. Good afternoon, everybody. Glad you guys tuned into the podcast. We, students, will talk to adults about how things used to be. Every week, we talk about different subjects and look at the difference between the past and present. So uh, today, we're going to talk uh, to our guest about mental health. Uh, as a guest today, we have invited Annette van Kouwen. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm uh, Annette van Kouwen and I'm a student counselor at NHL Stenden uh, for about four years now. Um, what else do you want to know? Uh, how old are you? Where you're from? Uh, I'm 56 years of age and I live in Pingium, which is a very small village in Friesland near the Afsluitdijk. And originally I come from uh, Vinkeveen, which is in the middle of the Netherlands, near Utrecht. And um, in the meantime, I've been studying and living in Amsterdam. And I studied uh, developmental psychology. Um, I live in Pingen with my husband and a cat and a dog. <coughs> so you moved from the from a medium big city? Because Vinkeveen, next to is it's quite uh, big. Small. Oh, oh, yeah, small, <laughs> but uh, uh, there's still a lot of people living there, yes. right? Well, I, I just went up north, even. Yeah, I and then, and then Am Amsterdam <laughs> is like, like really big and busy, and then uh, the big change uh, going to a small town uh, or village in yes. uh, Friesland. I really like to live near water since mm. I lived. I uh, I lived in Vinkveen. I was born and raised there, and always near the water. So I really enjoy that. I like sailing and swimming and everything that has to do with water, so I really wanted to live nearby. That's why we made the move to Friesland. Oh, nice! It was and was that your first time in in Friesland, or was it just, or did your husband come from Friesland? No, no, uh, we both uh, moved together from the big city. Um, we were a lot of times in Friesland before because we had a sailing boat. Oh, okay. And we used to sail a lot around here. Oh, that's nice. So <laughs> sailing is also one of your hobbies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, our listeners would also like to get to know you a little bit better because this is like a little globe from your life. But I'm going to uh, ask you uh, a few superficial dilemmas. Uh, so I'm going to ask you and Luke to answer them. Um, and I think the first one, would you rather live on the beach or in the woods? <laughs> For you, I think. Uh, Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the beach, right? It's the beach, yes. Yeah, and then we're near the water, yeah. Uh, for me to say, I'm also a beach person. Yeah. I like the sun, and uh, in the woods you have no sun, so. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. like the woods as well to, to walk, but after a while I need to get out again to get air. <laughs> yeah, you, th you feel like you don't have air in the woods. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, for me, it's so the opposite. I would rather live in the woods because I don't really like sand because <laughs> it gets <laughs> everywhere. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's the one disadvantage. Yeah. I would rather sit in a tree house for the rest of my life or something. I would really like that. Like then we're the not going to be neighbors. <laughs> no, we're not going to be neighbors. Uh, and then, are you a dog or a cat person? Um, I'm a cat person. You have cats? <coughs> I have one cat. Um, and also, s since recently we also have a dog, mm. <coughs> and they don't go along very well. <laughs> no. I always choose sides with the cat, and my <laughs> husband chooses the side with the dog. <laughs> it's a, a thing that you see more often, uh, I think, that uh, if women are more more so more with cats, and I don't know why. I'm also more a cat person than a dog person. And you, Luke? Yeah, I'm also a cat person. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, there goes my theory. <laughs> <laughs> At my parents' house, we have... Uh, I Four cats, because Four cats. yes, uh, our our big cat, he got uh, who got uh, babies, 
So pregnant. We, yeah, the seagull pregnant, <laughs> and now we have four cats uh, because there is we l- we love them so much. We didn't want them to go away. So uh, that's quite sweet, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a big cat house, one yeah. big cat family as well. <laughs> it surely is. <laughs> <laughs> and then, do you prefer a tablet or a laptop? A laptop. Yeah. Um, tab- tablet is very easy to use, but it has limitations, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I have a small laptop, so it goes everywhere with me. Ah, it's yeah. Uh-huh. I'm also a laptop person. Yeah, me too. I, I see people with uh, pens and drawing, and yeah. they are me so too. fast. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't understand <laughs> either. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you writing on your screen? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just use normal paper and a pen. Then I, th- yeah. Uh, yeah, I also don't understand that, but maybe yeah. then we're also a little bit too old for that then, maybe. <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, already. <laughs> and gold or silver? Uh, gold. Uh, gold. Yes. I am also a gold person. Yeah, I think uh, if I could afford it, I would choose gold. But <laughs> for now, when I'm still a student, I will... I yeah, will be s- I will be a silver girl. You say that you prefer silver, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, f- exactly. Like, yeah, that's uh, okay. So now we uh, all uh, we all know each other a little <laughs> bit better. <laughs> so, uh, so let's start actually with uh, what's your uh, position at NIHL stand up? Uh, I'm a student counselor. And what's uh, what do you do? What what's the what are your tasks? Your responsibilities? Um, well, the most of the time I spent uh, talking with students. Um, students come to see me when they have trouble in their studies and they are delayed um, for whatever reason and then I can try to help them to limit the delay <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's, it's also that like you can al- always just walk into your office and and, and so or you have to make an appointment and uh, you get one hour and in that one hour you I do have to do everything, like talk to the person or and uh, think of solutions, perhaps arrange things, and um, then you do your appointment, you make a new appointment, um, and every morning there's a walk-in hour for one of the, in one of the student counselors' office, and then you can uh, just walk in and if you have a small question that can be answered within 10, 15 <laughs> yeah, minutes, yeah, that's okay. It's not a thing that you go to the walk-in and <coughs> you're, you're just lay all your troubles on the table no no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and are you the only one uh, uh here at nih del el standen or i have 12 12 colleagues oh, wow. yeah uh, and we're all very busy so there are a lot of students <laughs> <laughs> having stress or trouble continuing the studies without delay yeah yeah did, so, uh, yeah. did change that a lot uh, after corona or it was it before Corona as well? Um, it was before Corona as well, but I think it's a little bit more now, but not okay. as much as I expected. Okay. Because when Corona started, we all sat in our chairs like yeah. <laughs> the big wave will come of students who have trouble and yeah. <coughs> delays. And but it didn't never really happened. But I think well, it's about five percent more or something like that. So also before Corona, a lot of uh, students having troubles. I could, uh, yeah, I think also maybe students don't recognize when they have a a problem or like, w- especially maybe with Corona, also they, they're just like, okay, we just have to go through this and they they don't ring at the bell in time. So maybe that's no. also... Okay, that was also our explanation yeah. at first, but then we thought well, when everyone is coming back and everything is going back to normal, then you will realize uh, what has happened or what you have missed or... But yeah, I don't really notice. The wave just never, never, never came. It still can come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows? Chances are getting lower. Yeah, I, yeah, of course. And it's, it's, is it a lot about uh, study delay, or is it uh, or more uh, about uh, how they personal feel? Uh, what's the? Uh, the reason that you come to see a student counselor is almost always that you have a study delay, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Like <laughs> the study delay is caused by something. Uh, and that can be like really anything. Yeah. So that's that's part of my job uh, of getting out what's really going on uh, with this person, why the study delay occurred, and what can be done. Because you s- you s- you said it already, but you, you what did you study? Development of psychology. Yeah, exactly. So, it, but that also means so you you are like a, a 
psychology. I am psych- a psychologist. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. yeah, yeah. That's the sorry, that's the word. <laughs> but I'm not working as a psychologist. Okay, so that, that's the difference because I think also as a psychologist you have to like talk to someone and you have to divine a, a, a problem in like a big wave of, of uh, stories and 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 stuff. That's yeah. actually the same that what you do. Yeah, but the difference is that the person that comes to see you uh, is already aware of that he or she has a psychological problem. And when you're a student counselor, it can be like really anything. Yeah, because what what mm-hmm. if in your um, in your explanation, what is mental health actually? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> grabbing them. <laughs> Okay, in two or three words, no, I don't know. What is mental health? Uh, a feeling of well-being? Um, that's a difficult question. Well, like for feeling for that yeah. you're, you're balanced, um, that you can fulfill what you want to do, but mostly the feeling of well-being and being uh, at ease in your yeah. life or your body. or So when, yeah. you're, when you're mentally... When your mental health is unstable, you feel distressed and out of balance, maybe. Yeah. And then they come, that can happen with anything <laughs> and in all surroundings. But don't you think life is just also a, a whole road of obstacles that bring you out of balance? Definitely. But yeah, it's the way that you can uh, you deal with it. So if you're a balanced person, you can deal with all the things that come to you. I because think. everyone experiences bad things in life. That's life. Yeah. But it's the way you deal with it that makes um, when you're mentally fit or healthy, stable. stable. Yeah. But do you think also then that maybe students, because for me, if I, I feel like life is always unbalanced actually because every day i wake up and every day something new a new deadline a new thing a new uh email from <coughs> my boss everything every day comes towards you and i think every day is a new challenge but i don't think that i'm balanced you know just dealing with it or something i don't know how how you experience that yeah i think every day you got something what isn't that fun and you have to deal with it but I think every person uh, is searching for a way to deal with it. So to become, uh, it can be uh, going to uh, to sport or something like that, of uh, talking with friends, uh, maybe uh, watch a movie and just to forget uh, forget about it for a moment yeah. and continue with it. But I don't know if that's the best way to no, deal yeah, with it that's because the thing. it's just, just forgetting about it and continue. shoving it under the rug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's and not ten real. years later, you end up with a psychologist <laughs> <laughs> because oh of all yeah. these repressed feelings. <laughs> So <laughs> it, it doesn't just go away? Uh, I don't say that. No. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> don't yeah. worry, no. Um, I know life is, is unpredictable. So yeah, every day there are challenges for you. But it doesn't mean that you cannot... Um, your life may be not balanced, but the way you're standing in your life can be balanced. Yeah. Like when you have 10 different things to do, one person gets a panic attack, the other person uh, goes back to bed. <laughs> with the pillow <laughs> over his head. Yeah. And the third person who is a bit more balanced says, Okay, I have ten things. What can I do today? Let's I'll start, start with, with one. This. And yeah. That's how you deal with it. And if you look back uh at when you were younger, uh how was how was it then back then? Like do you think the maybe also the stress uh, that comes at a, in a day in day life if when you see when you look now at students, how <coughs> if you um look at your life when you were a student how can you see a difference there a contrast maybe uh, i think there is difference in how busy everyone is nowadays i think there's a lot of stress on students because when i was a student there were no mobile phones uh, so the only way to reach me was when i was at home <laughs> then you could call me um, that's not very handy sometimes but it's it gives quietness peace um i can imagine that there yeah. were no uh there were computers but there was no internet so only when in my last year um we were introduced to the internet there was a meeting and i'm gonna show you something fantastic it's the world wide web oh wow <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't you cannot imagine, imagine no. no but it's only like in i think 
80, 89 or something like that. But for you, it's a long time ago. <laughs> for me, it was just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not... Time really flies. It's not centuries ago. It's no, like, it's yeah. not, no. no. And when I started to live in, in Bingham, uh, w- which was in 2000, uh, th- then I bought my first mobile phone because that would be handy there. But everyone in the village would be just like, wow, she has a mobile phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's and that's not so long ago. No. But I, I think I think what you're saying, I would love to have like a week without a phone or, or anything. Like You can just contact me when I'm at school because you'll get s- all the time. You're never quiet. And even when you go to bed, it's like movies and, and messengers and, and, s- and, and videos and stuff. So it's like, and the last thing you do before you go to sleep is check your phone. Is check your and phone. The first thing you wake up in the morning is, is check, your, check phone. your phone. So it's yeah. it's like a circle where you're stuck in, but it's also mm-hmm. actually in our environment not even possible to say I'm I'm not taking part in part in that. No, it's not possible anymore. No, no. especially with school, every teacher is on Teams, uh, email. So if you don't have that, or you're just like I'm not gonna check that, you just miss half of your stuff. Yeah. Yes, so I, I think that's that means a lot of more stress for you, yeah. students these days. We didn't have that. Perhaps we had other kinds of stress. I don't know, but uh, it it felt like easier, like calmer, quieter, and you could focus more on one thing because um, with all the devices you have, you also very used to switch attention to this, that, back, forth, there, there. And when I was studying, I went to or I stayed at home and I had this book and I started reading it. Yeah. That was it. And I guess something like uh, Instagram, you compare yourself uh, a lot with other people. So you get not only the people ar- around you, yeah. you mm. can compare yourself with, but you have also the people who uh, live more far away. And you see, oh, but he uh, can do this and he can do that. Yeah, and yeah. he has uh, this amount of money. And, and you want to live yeah. up to that. Yes. So I guess... The constant yeah. pressure of... Yeah, of success, I think, also, instead of just finishing where you are right now, it's always looking further in the future and comparing yourself to all these other people. Better, who are better, yeah. have more, <laughs> yeah, more yeah. success, more everything. More more money, yeah. more, yeah. And it, it always looks like more happiness. And that's I think that's also very a scary thing, that you always look at people, oh my God, she's so happy. And then you look at yourself and you think, why am, am I also supposed to be that happy? Because I'm, f- I'm fine. But <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you think you can stay mentally healthy? Do you have any tips for our uh, listeners? Mm, well, in the first place, it's really important to take good care of yourself. Because I think that's uh, where everything starts. When you have enough sleep and don't eat Bread with peanut butter every evening, <laughs> 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 but a bit healthy, healthy, <laughs> healthy yeah. food. Um, do sports and get a, a basis of physical health, and that will make you stronger. It make you f- will make you feel stronger, and then you can handle the mental stuff much easier. Um, and um, I don't want to say it depends a little bit on what kind of mental problems you're suffering from, but. Um, don't don't um, keep walking around with it. Just if you ha- if you experience something, please mention it to someone or talk to someone about it. Yeah. And then the sooner you do that, the easier it can be repaired so, yeah. or fixed. And what are some uh, practical tips, easy to use when you think uh, I'm not uh, I'm not feeling very well? Uh, so, uh, if I have a big day tomorrow. Uh, what are some practical tips you can use to uh, help you through the day? Relax. Relax? Yes. Yeah. When you have a test on Thursday, on Wednesday, please do not do anything anymore. Don't study, don't do anything. Just go outside for a walk and be relaxed. Because if you give your brains a rest, they will work very well the next day. And, and eat healthy. A banana? Eat a banana. <laughs> yeah. That at least that's what my parents always told me before a test. Eat a banana. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> Sleep yeah. well and try to be as relaxed as possible. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Take care of your body the day before. I think it's, it's hard, though, for students, uh, especially who live I- in the city here in Leeuwarden. In, in my experience, is 
it's there's always a party somewhere. There's always around the corner. There's a party or something. You don't have to go. You don't <laughs> have to go. No, that's true. Yeah, it's just when you're free, it's so easy to think, ah, oh, we're just doing one beer. And it never stops at one beer. That's, of course. You know, beforehand, of course, yeah. Yeah. Can you easily say no? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, with that, I, I or I just don't go. Or I go and then I go all the way. I go all the way. Yeah. So yeah. then it's a good thing that <laughs> I don't have any exams. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's a good that's a good tip to just really take care of yourself and your body. And I think also just um like see the consequences that for example one beer have on you the next day and then don't blame uh that you didn't study hard enough, but think like, okay, I sh- next time I'm not gonna drink that one beer also. Um, you brought a song. Oh, you have a song with you. <laughs> yes. Um, can I ask why did this? this wha- what is the song and um, why this song? Um, I chose uh, "The Wall" from Pink Floyd because it's about education and limitations on um, mental freedom, and um, that's what I see now these days uh, for students that it's really difficult to. Um, do what you want because you're so limited in time and in money and you just have to follow one path. <coughs> so it's difficult to go outside that. Um, but that's why I thought of this song. And it also reminds me of that time period that I was a student because I was very fond of Pink Floyd and went to concerts and it's really great. So that's why I did it. That's a really nice uh, explanation. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah, let's bring the tune in. Let's bring the tune in. Well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I hope our listeners uh, 